What is up guys? I'm here with the new series called Dream Setup and this is the first episode. So if you want to submit your setup for the next episode, click the link in the description. I'll do a new episode featuring 5 of your setups every month. So also make sure you subscribe to my channel to not miss my latest videos. So let's start with the first setup, you have already seen it in the background and it is awesome. The first setup is from Tomy and he has a dual monitor setup featuring two LG 23 inch monitors sitting on an IKEA countertop supported by two Alex drawers. Underneath the monitor he has his Z323 speakers from Logitech. His keyboard is the Cooler Master Quickfire Ultimate sitting next to the SteelSeries Rival 100 mouse. The mousepad he uses is the QCK mini mousepad also from SteelSeries. He also has a Nintendo Switch and the Divine Pro USB 1 microphone attached to an inox microphone arm. For sitting in front of his amazing setup he has a DX Racer chair. I really like the black and red theme he has going on over the setup and I also like the shelf on top with the pictures and the green IKEA plants. Under the desk we can see some cable management, the Bayer Dynamic DT770 Pro headphones as well as the PC from which I don't know the specs. There's only one thing I would recommend you and it is to put a board in front of the cables so we can see the cable strips behind. But overall a very nice setup by day and as well by night as you can see with the wallpaper and the LED strips. So thank you for entering with this setup. The next setup is a single monitor setup from Matthew. He's rocking an HP Elite Display E231. He says that the desk is DIY by using old wooden shelves. Also his lamp is custom made by using pipes. On the shelf on the top he has his Monster Energy collection and a plan to give his setup even more personality. Also on his desk is the Creative H5 Valencia Edition the Salman ZMK500 keyboard and his mouse is the Modcon Volcano MC GMX4. I found it quite funny that he uses a piece of wood for a wrist rest. I mean that can't be very comfortable at all, but if he likes it, that's how it is. His PC is rocking an AMD Ryzen 5 2600 on an ASRock B450 motherboard. He has 16 gigs of RAM and the GTX 1070. His cable management looks quite good. He has everything mounted under his desk. I really like his setup. It's not the craziest I've seen, but the personality and the uniqueness is just amazing. The only thing I would recommend you is the keyboard cable should be a bit better organized and put the rest of it if it's too long underneath the desk instead of on the desk. Also maybe invest your next money in a better monitor. But overall an amazing setup and thank you for entering. Next up is Spikers with his ultra wide setup. The monitor is from LG and is 25 inch. The desk is again an IKEA countertop with two Alex drawers. The PC which is sitting under the desk is powered by a Ryzen 5 2400 and an RX 580. Also in the build are 16GB of RAM. The keyboard is the JetTech Wireless and his mouse is a MX Master of course from Logitech. For audio he has two cyber acoustic speakers and a 10 inch subwoofer which you saw in the first picture. It looks like he has some programming skills because of the Java book. And he has a Sheet Fala headphone amp. Let me know it in the comments below if you know this. I never heard of a Sheet Fala, also not sure if I pronounced this right. However, 
there aren't any headphones maybe he forget to mention them and also i can't see them around on the picture but yeah let's go on on the left side he has his printer and a hu humidifier we don't have a picture of his cable management but to me it looks very good because i can't see any cables I like that the setup is very organized, but I think there is something missing. Maybe you should add some lighting or a shelf above your desk with some personal things or plants. But thank you for all these pictures and you have a very nice setup. By the way, I forgot to mention that I link all the products down in the description. These links are affiliate links, so feel free to order via these if you like the product. It would really help my channel and yeah, but let's go on with the next one. The next one managed to be on the thumbnail and it is the setup from Liam. Please also check him out on Instagram, links also down in the description. I mean, have a look at this, it just fits perfectly in this room. But let's just start with the monitors. So the overhead is a Sony 1080p TV, not sure what model. And the other one is an ASUS VG24524 inch monitor. To power this pixel, he uses a Lenovo Legion Y520 gaming laptop. Inside is a i5 7300HQ with 8 gigs of RAM and a GTX 1050. Of course, he has some nano leaves and the sound bar from Philips under the Acer screen. For gaming he also has a PS4. The second audio device is a SteelSeries Arctic 7 headset. A Leadpult FC660M keyboard and the Myonix coaster mouse are sitting on an ADX extended mouse pad. And I think beside one every setup had an IKEA countertop and so has this one. It's supported by IKEA Lex and the Alex drawer also from IKEA. The cables are nicely routed through a cable tray. So for me this setup is just perfect. I like how the wall and the wallpaper fit together. The vibe in this setup is just amazing and I would like to chill in this room. Thank you so much for sharing this with us. But there's one more. The last one is also insane. This triple monitor setup is from Mark. And let's just start with his PC because this one is a crazy beast. It's powered by an Intel Core i7 7700K, two GTX 1080s from Asus and 64 gigabytes of RAM. For storage he has built in two terabytes of SSD. The CPU and GPU are water-cooled by a custom hard tube loop. Now let's move over to the monitors. These are two Acer 144Hz monitors and one LG 60Hz monitor. The overhead is a 43-inch Toshiba 4K TV and for typing and gaming he uses the Ducky 1-2 mini keyboard and the Sovi EC2A mouse. His audio gear is a SteelSeries Arctic 5 headset which isn't in the photo and the Bose Companion 5 speakers. The cable management looks a bit messy behind the monitors but it works because I can't see any cables when looking directly from the front. This crazy setup is not only beautiful because of the power but also it has great design and I like the glow in the dark when it's reflecting from the wall. So that's it with the first Dream Setup episode. I hope you had fun to watch it and please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my next episodes. Also make sure you share this with your friends to show them how cool their setups could look. So thank you for watching and see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.